Okay, so do you look at you look on you look straight at those blue leads, right, and you will see, right, the blue out your retainer. Yeah, they're pretty bright, Jared. I can see there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whoa, man, <laughs> they are so bright. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know what the color temperature of a cell phone is, the way like it responds to different lights. Yeah, yeah. This is so out of control, eh? So, okay, we're going to try and give you an idea of what we're doing here. What we decided was that we would make some LEDs go with candle power. So here we have a small candle going. You can't even see the heat sink. And show them the voltage. Oh, yeah, the voltage. Okay, like, so we've got these real bright blue LEDs. And so if we shine the LEDs into the... Hang on. Okay. I can't see a bloody thing, Jerry. Well, the blue leads are right. Okay, we got 540 milliamps. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's millivolts on the BBM. And those are the blue leads. Oh, man. So, what is bright as the blue leads will look at? This is pretty bad. Okay, but I reckon if we had some white leads, you know, and this is the Tega, I'll tell you what. But if an LED I'll is just... about 25% efficient, and a tag is, a, is several percent efficient, then if you multiply okay, right, the sorry. two, the overall efficiency is like less than 1%. But then there look at the is light. the candle going. The candle's very washy and, for its uh, light out because of its low temperature. There's the bird's nest. And there's the LEDs. Whoa, see that? Yeah. Quite cool, eh? Hey? So you put that and on. And 500, the yeah. The voltage. So we've got about half a volt coming off the thermoelectric generator. You can see the thermoelectric module there. And the LEDs, which require more like 3 volts to run. Are shining bloody beautifully thanks to this lovely little bird's nest here beautiful so you put that on the um, 